In this second video, we'll be zooming in um, and taking more of a closer look at some of the, just some of the wide, wide array of beneficial creatures that you can very easily encourage into your outside space. You can probably hear the birds in the background. The sound of the bird song is mesmerizing in itself. Just to stop and listen to their, their amazing, miraculous song. I'm just going to highlight a few of the very best, but effectively every creature has its place. They are fantastic predators. They will peck off a wide range of, of paths on your behalf. There are various different ways to encourage them in. You know, it's almost like creating a, a larder for them effectively. So they will forage naturally um, more frequently during summer months. During winter, um, leaving seed heads on plants, again, not meticulously bedding down the beds, will actually create a valuable ha habitat for a wide range of creatures and also provide food for birds. Also feeding the birds as well is another way of actually drawing these beautiful creatures in. And there's, there's lots of different ways of going about that, but the more you can do that, the better that will be, and they will provide you with immense, immense pleasure in return. Next up in the Backyard Biodiversity Hero Stakes, we have um, ladybird, ladybird larvae, and lace wings. I'm going to include the two together because they actually work in quite similar ways when it comes to their ability to, to eat, to hoover up hundreds, literally thousands of aphids or black fly off your plants. They really are fantastic predators. The best thing to do is to allow a, even a tiny patch of stinging nettles in the back corner of your garden. Um, so, you know, you don't have to have a completely nettle covered garden, you know, for backyard biodiversity. Just small areas um, within will create really attractive havens to help to encourage these creatures onto your plot. And the thing with nettles as well is that early in the season, they're fantastic to harvest and eat as well. They're also brilliant to add to the compost pile. Just don't do it when they have seed, when they're started going to seed. But, you know, there are so many benefits to nettles overall. A wildlife habitat is something that's very easy to create. You just need to let go a little bit. And you can do this in the corner of your garden. So you could create wild areas at the back of your garden and just allow wildflowers to move in. You'll be surprised if you just let things happen, how quickly nature will move in. Ground beetles are not to be underestimated. They are the most amazing predators. And again, another creature that's incredibly, incredibly easy to, to attract in. Maybe not so pretty to look at, but they really are fantastic. The best way of attracting ground beetles is just to have something for them to hide underneath. What they can do is they can, they can hunt down quite a wide variety of creatures which do actually include small snails and slugs. So ground beetles come highly recommended and a very, very important part of a biodiverse garden. Amphibians, so your, your frogs, your toads, your newts, are fantastic predators, more well-known predators to have in the, the more biodiverse outside space. And they will have a go at a wide variety of um, different creatures, so slugs, snails, caterpillars, almost you name it, they will have a go at trying to eat it for you on your behalf. Very easy to attract in, in lots of respects. Ground cover, so things like long grass, a variety of different shrubs and plants, all provide um, a valuable habitat for them to hide underneath. If you can add a pond, e even more the better, um, because a source of water is hugely attractive for them. And with a pond, it can be even as something as simple as an old basin, 
salvage Belfast sink, whatever you can find, actually buried um, flush to the ground with some stones around the outside and inside to enable creatures to get in and out. A water source is also hugely beneficial for a wider, wider range of, um, of different creatures. Dragonflies, hedgehogs, birds. There are lots of creatures that would benefit from the addition of a small pond. You know that slugs can cause an immense amount of damage to to seedlings in particular overnight after planting out so they're not a very popular creature let's face it but they are effectively food for something else hang some bird feeders outside a window in your home and then you can have a close-up taste of nature still even on the worst coldest days although i'd recommend going outside as much as you can let go and tune into the wonder of the natural world in your back garden.